welcome to blog 19, me learning to play the melodeon. Uh, it's been a while since I did blog 18 because I've been really busy with another melodeon project which is to do some very very simple video lessons for beginners. And it's probably a bit arrogant of me to, uh, to launch this series of videos considering I've only been playing a year myself. But um, when I first started a year ago um, I just couldn't find anything on the net that was sort of easy enough, kind of dumbed down enough for, for my needs. So hopefully I've provided that. Uh, so far I've done uh, about eight lessons and in those eight lessons I've taught uh, three pieces and I've got a few more planned. Anyway, I thought I'd have a break from doing lessons and do a nice relaxed blog and bring you up to speed with what I've been up to other than that. Um, I'm going to uh, share a new piece with you this morning that I've been working on. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, I've changed my strap arrangement around on my melodians. Um, I found that by shortening the left shoulder strap as opposed to the right and bringing the left side up a bit, it, it made me play a bit better. So now my right strap is a bit longer than my left and I'm finding that a bit more, a bit more comfortable. So I've got my uh, Hona Erica GC box this morning. This row is G, this row is C. And um, when you compare this to a D, G, it's obviously a lot lower. This, um, this row of G is an octave lower uh, than the row of G on the D, G, if you know what I mean. So the whole thing is, is shifted down quite a bit. The reason I'm using this box is I've discovered a piece that I used to play on the guitar uh, many years ago, and I'll probably play it on the guitar for you towards the end of this block so you can see me playing the guitar. Uh, a tune called Staines Morris, and I kind of remembered this, and remembered it was uh, one of the old Playford tunes. So it's a pretty old piece, uh, I'm guessing kind of Elizabethan times. And just the word Morris kind of triggered something in my brain. I thought, ah, that must be a Morris dance. And I did find um, a video from the 70s of a, a Morris side dancing to this. It's a really good tune to play on the guitar, and I found it's also a pretty good tune on the melodeon as well. And I printed out the music, you can download it. And I think I've also printed out the music for it in DG. So if you haven't got a GC and you want to play it uh, on the DG, then you can print that out as well, I think. Um, it's in the key of A minor on this box. Uh, I know that because I've got an F sharp and a G sharp, which are both found in the melodic minor scale of A minor, for those of you who are technically minded. Um, so obviously there's lots of A minor chords um, and uh, lots of G's and C's. So um, the first little bit sounds like this. Lots of notes on the pull. Now that first bit, uh, you need uh, a box that's got accidentals because you've got on this box you've got that G sharp note there so obviously if, you, if you've got low notes on your melodeon you won't be able to play that um, so that's just one of those things um, so it's so A minor to start with then D and then you've got as I say that odd G sharp there and then on that bit second bar I'm using the G chord and G bass on the top two bass buttons. And what's nice about this, of course, you're getting away from the, the dreaded um par. It's quite nice to get that sort of sustained uh, left hand. And then you go. So a lot of row crossing in this uh, in this tune. So the bottom two staves of the first page, lots of row crossing. And on the second page, there's a nice... I like those uh, harmonies there. 
fifth part, I've got a C and a G, and then a G and a D, so that's quite nice, isn't it? So the harmony's there. Quite nice. And then last two bars, you've done these before. So let's play the whole piece through. DG box. Some people might prefer to take the thirds out for this, but I quite like the thirds in. So we're now in the key of E minor. Yeah, I quite like the way that the, the, the um, chords kind of seep in. It's quite nice, isn't it? Just good measure and hit this on the guitar in the key of A minor. So I'd like to end this blog with a really lovely story for you. Uh, a few weeks ago, I decided I'd like to have a little try uh, of playing a concertina. I know lots of Melodian players play concertina as well, and vice versa. So I put an advert on Mailnet saying I was looking for a Jackie concertina, which is a kind of a starter model, still pretty good, recommended to me. Um, see if anybody got one they wanted to sell before I bought a new one. Uh, and the very next morning when I woke up, I got an email from a guy in America, I won't embarrass him by giving his name away, but he's a, a Melodian player in America who's been following my tutorials and my blogs. And uh, I couldn't believe it, in the, in the email he said he was going to give me his Jackie Concertina um, for sort of services rendered uh, for the tuition. So I just couldn't believe it. I was so amazed and absolutely delighted, as you can imagine. And anyway, I've got it here, it's arrived, and it's in really good condition. Um, it is, as I said, a Jackie uh, concertina, and uh, it's, it's great, it's really, really nice. Uh, I can't play a note on it yet, uh, I've got to be working on it, um, but it does, does sound pretty good. I know this is uh, strictly a Melodian uh, forum, so don't tell anyone, will you, that I've got a concertina here. There we are, very quick scale for you there. But it's in really good nick, it's beautifully in tune, and it came with a, a tutor book, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this as well. Um, so uh, anyway, there we are, that's a, a pretty, pretty heartwarming story, isn't it? And so I'm really, really thrilled about this, and it's kind of restored my faith in human nature. Anyway, that's the end of Blog 19, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one.